Halima lives in a small Chorland, Chohali Union of Shirajkanj district in one of the most disaster prone countries of the world, Bangladesh. A low lying delta country in South Asia formed by the mighty rivers like the Ganges, the Brahmaputra and the Meghna. Bangladesh is a land of about 144 million people within its 147,570 square kilometers territory. A vast network of more than 310 rivers and channels, an enormous discharge of water heavily laden with sediments, a large number of islands in between the channels have increased Bangladesh's vulnerability. The staggering poverty of Halima and others like her multiplies their vulnerability to disasters like flood. Halima's village is flooded almost every year with varied intensity. So the villagers together with the Union Purishad and the Union Disaster Management Committee have drawn up a Risk Reduction Action Plan RRAP following a Community Based Risk Assessment CRA supported by the government's comprehensive disaster management program CDMP. Halima took part in the consultation meeting where the Disaster Risk Reduction Action Plan RRAP was formulated. All villagers came together for the task. Thus, Halima knows what she should do to reduce her disaster risk. They have raised their homestead, which not only saves their home from floods, but also their vegetable garden, poultry and cattle. Change agents in her village, like teachers and imams, who are the respected people within the community, are trained in disaster risk reduction, and they disseminate the messages of DRR to the community. Folk culture is a very strong media and are being used to disseminate DRR messages to the community. A community-based flood information system has been developed to ensure that flood warning reaches the vulnerable communities like Halima the soonest and in an understandable language.
At the family level, mobile SMS messages are sent by Flood Forecasting and Warning Center to individual subscribers, who in turn disseminate the messages to their neighbors. At the community level, SMS messages are sent directly to the identified change agents responsible for flag hoisting. Water everywhere and raised homestead is above the flood level. Flood management system in the country has been well developed over the years. During the two and a half month long flood of 1998, while the world community forecasted famine, the country under the leadership of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina not only managed to overcome the crisis with flying colors but also had bumper crop jump-starting the economy immediately afterwards. Government provides agricultural loans to the farmers. Kohinoor lives in the Gobura Union of Shamnagar Upazila of Shatkira district. One of the coastal districts of Bangladesh vulnerable to the fury of nature like cyclone and tidal surge. In Bangladesh, about one-fifth of the population live in the coastal belt of the country, a zone of multiple vulnerabilities and fragile ecosystem impact of climate change is wrecking havoc in these already vulnerable zones. The coastal morphology of Bangladesh influences the impact of natural hazards in the area. A shallow northern Bay of Bengal and funneling to the coastal area of Bangladesh and strong tidal and wind action indicate inevitability of sequels of hazards like cyclone and tidal surge to this poverty-stricken country. Kohinu's husband is a marginal farmer. The cultivable land in their village has been affected by high salinity caused by indiscriminate shrimp cultivation and because of increased salinity in the water caused by climate change. To combat the high salinity of the soil which has been jeopardizing the crop this year, Bushir consulted the officer from the Department of Agricultural Extension and cultivated BR-41, a saline tolerant variety of rice, which is an innovation of Bangladesh Rice Research Institute, BRRI. Another saline tolerant variety that BRRI has invented is BR-47. Kohinoor and her husband have good harvest this year. উত্তর বঙ্গোপসাগরে অবস্থানরত ঘূর্ণিঝড় আইলা সামান্য উত্তর উত্তর পশ্চিম দিকে সরে গিয়ে একই এলাকায় অবস্থান করছে এটি আজ দুপুর 12টায় মংলা সমুদ্র বন্দর থেকে 230 কিলোমিটার দক্ষিণ দক্ষিণ পশ্চিমে অবস্থান করছিল ঘূর্ণিঝড়টির অগ্রবর্তী অংশের প্রভাবে বাংলাদেশের উপকূলীয় জেলা সমূহে ইতোমধ্যে দমকা ঝোড়ো বাতাস বইতে শুরু করেছে Cyclone Preparedness Program CPP, was conceived after the worst cyclone in the recorded history of mankind in 1970 that washed away half a million people overnight.
Currently, CPP boasts of 42,675 volunteers throughout the coastal belt of Bangladesh and it is the largest body of volunteers in the world. There is a robust disaster management system in Bangladesh. At the wake of any kind of disaster, the committees at different levels are instantly activated and give the necessary directives as well as do the necessary coordination of rescue and relief operation of all parties. The highest body is National Disaster Management Council, headed by the Honorable Prime Minister. Below that is the Interministerial Disaster Management Committee, headed by the Minister of Food and Disaster Management. This disaster management institution runs to the lowest level, that is Union Purishad level, with Union Disaster Management Committee. When the cyclone signal reaches seven in the coastal areas, the villagers are evacuated to the cyclone shelters. The massive coastal afforestation program undertaken by the Ministry of Forest and Environment, popularly known as the Green Belt, acts as the shield for the coastal people against cyclones. well-designed disaster management system in the country under the leadership of the present government and the Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has managed to keep death toll to 190 in the water surge of Isla on May 2009. Through community initiatives, government measures and institutional system put in place for natural disaster risk reduction, Kohinoor 
Halima and we all brave the adversaries of nature together in Bangladesh.